All right, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, how to uh, create an app okay, uh, having the uh, drop down list okay, uh, and also the um, uh, form okay, uh, view control, okay, form view control. And then the drop down list okay, will show okay, all the uh, products name okay, and then the details, uh, sorry, the form view control will display the product name okay, and then the short description of the product, the long description of the product, and also the uh, unit price of the product. As for the uh, images, uh, for the image okay, of that product, okay, uh, we'll talk about it okay, later, okay? So, okay, again, okay, uh, let me just uh, use the same okay, application. Okay, so let me close this one and then create a new web form. Okay. Again, feel free to create a new okay, uh, application okay, if you want to, okay? And I'm going to show okay, uh, how to use, okay, how to use the uh, drop down okay, list, okay. drop down okay, list, okay. and also the uh, form, okay. Uh, view okay, controls. All right, okay, so again, I believe that uh, uh, you should have the knowledge of creating uh, the application using the uh, uh, drop down list, but uh, I will repeat it one more time here. Okay, so a drag and drop instance of the uh, drop down list. Okay, drop down list is inside the uh, standard category, okay? And then select choose okay, data source, okay, and then uh, new data source, okay, database, SQL database, click OK, and then select the connection string, okay, so, and then okay, uh, click next. Again, okay, let me use the uh, products table, but then uh, for the uh, drop down list, okay, I only need the uh, product ID and the product name, that's all. Okay, so only two items. And I'm going to select next okay, and test the query. Okay, and then so far so good. Okay, and click finish. And then we have to decide that uh, okay, uh, among the two fields over here, okay, which field okay, we want to use uh, to display the information on the drop down list. And then uh, uh, here we got to pick. We are going to pick the uh, product name. Okay. But then the value corresponding to that product name, okay, we will use the uh, product ID, okay? So click OK. And then again, okay, uh, it won't hurt okay, to uh, do a quick uh, test, okay? Do a quick test. Yeah. So let's see whether the drop down list okay, will display the uh, product's uh, names or not, okay? Okay, there you go, okay, so yes, okay, pretty good, okay, pretty good, okay? Yeah. All right, okay, so right next to it, okay, we're going to put a form view, okay, a form view, okay, you can use a details view if you want to, okay. So I just want to show you, okay, how to uh, use the form view, okay, to work with the uh, drop down list, okay, that's all, yeah. So, okay, right next to it, and then I'm going to use the form view, okay. Form view is inside the uh, data category. Okay, so let me drag and drop instance of the form view. Okay, and then okay, let me config the data source. Okay, so new data source. Okay, SQL database. Click OK, and select the same connection string. Okay, uh, it's just a path. Okay, to the database. Okay, we want to use. That's all. Okay, click next. And then we're going to use the uh, products table. And then uh, I believe we just need uh, the uh, product name, okay, short description, non description of the product, the unit price of the product. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need, okay, actually, we need five. Okay, so product ID, okay, product name, okay, short description, non description, and then the unit price. But then okay, uh, the item being displayed is controlled by the drop down list. So we have to use the uh, where clause. Okay, so this after the where clause, okay, and the column okay, we'll be using okay, will be the uh, product ID, okay, product ID. 
and we're going to use the uh, logical okay, equal operator okay, the source will come from a control so in this case will be the drop down list okay and then again uh, we are not going to provide the default value and this will be the uh, uh, where clause get okay, expression get okay, looks okay, good get okay, click add and click OK again okay so actually we really don't need to display the uh, product ID at all okay so let me okay, uncheck it okay and then click uh, next okay click next do a quick test okay well I forgot the uh, product ID okay, uh, in the database so it's okay just click cancel click finish And then, okay, uh, let me see, anything else? Paging, no, okay. Let's uh, close the uh, smart tag over here, task over here. Uh, widen the width okay, a little bit, okay. And then for the uh, uh, drop down list, okay, we might have to enable the uh, auto post back, okay, because uh, we are not going to use a button here. Okay, so enable it. Okay, so let's run the app. Okay, let's run the app. So it's loading. Okay, there you go. Okay, oh, uh, it's too close to each other. Okay, so let me give myself some room. Okay, yeah, let me give myself some room. So press view. Okay, uh, Okay, enter keys, okay. And also do a little bit better formatting, okay. So you look nice, okay. Again, pick whatever okay, uh, format you like, okay. Yeah, pick whatever format okay, of your liking, okay. Click apply, okay. Let's run again. And it's loading. So far so good, okay, so it might pick, uh, let's say uh, a black light, okay. So there you go, the detailed information of the uh, black light, uh, light okay, showed up, it might pick, uh, let's say okay, hippie, okay. There you go, the information of hippie okay, showed up, okay. So this is okay, how you can uh, create an application okay, uh, using uh, drop down list okay, as the uh, master control okay, and then the uh, uh, form view control okay, as the uh, 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 you can call the detail okay, uh, control okay all right let me stop the video right now okay.